Hey, SK champions, and welcome to Transition Tuesday, Season Three, Episode Two. I'm back here at my local sunny skate park, Wavell Heights, and I'm just working on my ollies just to warm up. And then, flat ground trick of the week this week is going to be the frontside 180. Not gonna lie, my front side 180s are actually just regular ollies that are 90 degrees, uh, and then I just do an extra 90. Regular ollies are actually just really uh, hard fought straight ollies. While these are quite easy, it's actually harder to just sort of like get the back trucks higher off the ground, so I'm trying to work on that, and then just end it with like a little line, trying to get um, two in a row coming fakie up the transition. Anyway, uh, all warmed up, so let's just get the 10 uh, first transition tricks out of the way. Now, I'm very wary of taking everybody's time, so let's just get through these. Um, the drop in, rock to fakie, and rock and roll. Tried these both to the death all the way up the top. Feeble stall, had a little bit, we've gone too fast, had to take that in two tries. Alright, backside axle stalls. I feel like I have these guys on lock now. Ah, the tail stall. Uh, struggled with these guys again today. Just fell back into some some habits uh, which are easy to fix. Um, I eventually got one, uh, but we'll, we'll revisit this trick later in this video. Backside slash grind, a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, uh, front side slash grind. It took me way more times than I wanna actually <laughs> admit to, um, but finally got one, and um, boy, do they, uh, they feel good when you roll away. Half cab rock and roll, um, that was uh, first try. It was what I expected last week, didn't get that, but uh, yeah, half cab rock to fakie, first try again. And now we're gonna move on to trick number 11 from the mini ramp trick list, uh, which is the fakie rock. Uh, I'm gonna pick a different angle for this particular one. Let's go. All right, this is me dropping in regular. Great thing about this trick is you can do a rock fakie on the other side and then come back and you, you pretty much go on fakie and uh, you just sort of get your back trucks back on top of the coping and, uh, and then roll back in regular. If you find yourself going a little bit too slow on that fakey return, then uh, just give yourself a little bit of a pump and you'll get your uh, back trucks over and up on top. To be honest, I didn't learn this trick for ages. I was just really scared coming in fakey, but if you find a nice mellow transition, it's a really good thing to add to your trick list and just expand on your mini ramp uh, sort of arsenal. Now to achieve some success in this trick is to um, get your feet nice and in the pockets there, not too far up on the on each uh, tail, but so that you can kind of rock on each side. That allows you when you're coming in fakey, just to be light on your feet, get your back trucks over the coping, sort of rock, and then uh, you can sort of push that front foot nice and comfortably down and then roll back in and uh, away you go. All right, switch rocks in the bag. And uh, that trick reminds me a lot of when I fail or over kick the, uh, the tail stall, a trick that I really struggle with. So I really wanted to give you guys three tips that I've learned and I've spoken to Scott about and I've looked at a couple of tutorials and they all kind of add up uh, to give them to you guys just real quick. Uh, so you guys might be able to get into the tail stalls uh, quicker than I did. First tip is to practice on flat ground and on a bank. Really remembering to put your back foot on that tail and having all of your weight distributed from both feet to that back foot. And then you get the process of just like rolling back in. To be honest, if you can't actually drop in yet, uh, maybe you shouldn't try this trick just yet. Uh, work your way up to it. Tip number two is to keep your back foot straight and your front foot bent when you're going up to the coping. This really applies uh, both when you're trying to do like a tail tap and just uh, tap the tail and roll back in, or when you're trying to commit to holding all of your body weight up on top of the platform. You'll be in the same position and look a bit like this. Because if you have both feet straight, you'll, be, you'll sort of tip back, and if you have them both bent, you won't get that weight distribution on that back foot comfortably enough. And tip number three is timing. When you're coming up to the coping, you wanna start transferring that um, body weight onto your tail and bending your front knee just before you hit the actual coping. Speed definitely plays a part in this uh, timing because if you're going too fast, your body weight will just fly over, a big issue that I have. And if you're going too slow, you're really gonna to need to give yourself a little pump just to get your wheels up towards that coping and then get into the tail tap, or if you can, get your body weight up. Thanks for watching, Legends. Uh, there are three little tips for you guys. Uh, take them if you find them easy. I wish I'd uh, learned those way earlier in the game, um, but yeah, here we are. 
Remember to keep skating, keep having fun, of course. Keep progressing, take it easy. And now we're gonna move on to trick number 11 from Mini Rank. Rank? Ah, uh, I'm back here. Tip number two is similar to tip number one. No, no, it's not, is it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. These are three little tip tricks, trick tips. Three little tip tricks for you guys. I uh, hope you can take something from those guys. Those guys, guys, guys. 